And today we're going to be giving a tour of the school as well as uh, me teaching classes. Uh, Daisy is just w watching me this week, so she's going to be recording me. Yes, so enjoy this video. Yeah, let's give a little tour of the school as well as me teaching some classes. All right, enjoy the video. Okay, let's go to my first class at 9 o'clock, 9 to 10, so let's go, okay. This is where the kids sleep, take their nap time. Hey. We're about to go to our, my first class at 9 o'clock. What's the age group? We're in the middle class, so like 5 year olds. 5 years old. So right now, they're eating breakfast, right? Yeah, they're going to be eating breakfast and then I'm going to be teaching phonics ENF today. As well as uh, a new game that the dudes that haven't played before. Uh, come on in. So this is their class and then again, this is where they sleep. Where are you finishing? Right? Yep, uh, other market. 
pai. Aí você tá. Okay, that was my first class of the day, which is from 9 o'clock to 10. So my typical day usually starts getting here at 8 in the morning. And then at 8, we stand at the gate and we greet the students and just say hello to them and to the parents so they can see um, our presence and that we are um, very respectful and we say hello to everybody. Mm -hmm. So we do that. Then at 9, I have a class, which is the one that you guys just saw, which is um, my typical... Wednesday classes. Wednesday I teach middle classes, which are the five-year-olds. Monday I teach um, lower classes, which are the three to four-year-olds. And then on Fridays I teach the upper classes, which are the six-year-olds, six and seven-year-olds, sometimes seven-year-olds, but not all the time. Usually it's just six-year-olds. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays I go to two other schools and teach um, 
different age groups. They usually put me on the middle classes or higher classes. So yeah, um, that was the middle class, um, ages five. Um, I usually just, um, that was like pre-planned. I do a lesson plan before I come to school. I already have it ready. So yeah, today I was supposed to teach phonics. So you saw many different ways that I taught them the phonics ENF. I have a schedule of what they want me to teach and today was phonics ENF. So I made my whole lesson plan to last an hour and to cover ENF the whole class so I could just instill that into their mind, just ENF, ENF, and the sounds ENF. That's why it was so repetitive so that each student could get a chance to to do the activity and learn E and F and the phonics and different words that go along with that phonics. So yeah, that was one of my classes. Now I have, um, I just did two right now, but you guys only saw one of them. It was from nine to 10 and then from 10 to 11. Then right now we have lunch at 11.30. Then after that at 12, we have a break from 12 o'clock to two in the afternoon. And then we have to be back. I could We could leave the school and then come back by two or we could stay here, and it's basically like nap time for the students. From 12 to 2, they sleep. So all the students are sleeping from, for two hours. Then we get back, then we have 30 minutes to still um, relax. And then at 2.30, the students wake up, and then that's when I start class again. I start class from 2.30 to 3.30. Then from 3.30 to 4.30, and then I'm done. But at 4.30, we stand at the gate. 4.30 to 5, we stand at the gate and said goodbye. Say goodbye, we to, say goodbye to all the kids. and The parents. The parents, yes. And then that's my day. At 5 to 5.30, we just wait for, for the time the day to end, and we go home at 5.30. But, yeah, it's it's a really awesome experience. Um, what do you think about it, Daisy, about teaching? Are you ready? Did you learn anything today? <laughs> yes, I learned a lot. I mean, this whole week, I've been coming with Tyro to... Um, to his classes, to so each each school that he goes to, I've been coming with him just to learn like what he does, like the warm ups, the activities he does. Um, yeah, I think it's a good experience. She's gonna incorporate her own her own styles too, right? Yeah, my own styles. Too. I have a lot of great ideas just by watching Heidel. Like I have already good ideas of how like to teach them. Um, since they're little kids, it's better to to like play games with them so they can have fun and so they could like get it in their heads yeah, they and like learn by playing learn yeah. by playing that's the best way they learn by playing because they are trying to achieve a, a goal which they're trying to win the race but at the same yeah. time they're learning what the phonics are and what the word is and the sounds that the phonics make so yeah it's it's an awesome experience and yeah definitely it's awesome can't wait yeah so but yeah i'm gonna be start i i'm gonna be starting to work um not next week but the week after next week because next week is our holiday yeah we're gonna go yeah. um it'll be a surprise we're gonna go somewhere and show you guys it'll be an awesome trip yeah so for me i might have a little different schedule from hyro um we are gonna go to different schools we're not i'm not sure yet but um i'm definitely gonna film that being being by myself going to different schools and see how that is because i've never been like out by myself in China, so this would be a first time, and I'll be filming my experience, like going by myself to different schools. Also, I want to recommend if you got a bachelor's degree, if you just finished college, or whenever you have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, like if you have a chance, come to China. Like it's gonna open up your eyes to so many things, to so many different experiences. You'll meet so many awesome people. People here are so nice. Like yeah, they're very nice. They always um, treating awesome. us um, for no reason. They just like buy us food. It's, it's so awesome. Like they just want us to feel welcome and uh, come. I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of tips. Um, the process that I that I went through and what you guys could do to come to China. So for me, um, I was about to graduate and then there was this last chance job for because I hadn't really thought about what I was gonna get because I, I always um, I have faith always I've always been like that that I'm gonna find something I'm gonna everything's gonna work out and it always has because of my faith and I, I know always God will always take care of me so um, I went to the job fair and I saw that they, they were um, passing out flyers and they were saying that there's jobs in China for teaching and all you need is a bachelor's degree so I just I said I got information from them and I just thought about oh maybe I'll go like let me see what this is all about so I gave them a call and they set up um, an interview. So, cause I had, I told them I had my bachelor's, I was about to graduate and they set up an interview. And I didn't think much of it. I thought, okay, I guess I'll try. I'm not like, I'm gonna go to China, what the heck? Like, 
that's not possible. Like me going to China right now, like that's crazy. But you never know. It's it's a possibility. So let's check it out. Yeah, and I, you guys should do it. Um, at first we were like, whoa, like should we go to China? It's kind of a scary thing to think about. It's like you're gonna go over there and you're not you're not gonna know it. nothing, know the language, the directions, anything. Like you want to go, you can't ask no one. But we're doing it. I mean, we just gotta so, try. So I had an interview with the CAEC, which is a company that I went through. I recommend them. They're a really awesome company. It's the, cult, the Center for American Education and Culture, the CAEC. Look them up on Google if you want to, um, if you want to get a job through them. Um, just hit them, give them a call, and they'll set up an interview in California, which is the agents in California. They're working over there, and they interview you. Then, if they like you, they say that you're you're a good candidate. Then they go on to the second pro, second step which is for you to create a video of yourself, uh, basically a profile of yourself. It's a two to three minute video and you just explain who you are, why you want to be a teacher, what your background is, what your experience is, uh, what, why you, what, what your degree is and how that can help you to be a teacher. And I, did, I was an anthropology major. I, was just, I told them that I love culture. I want to le experience different cultures and it would give me a way to teach the, the students with more passion because I'm going to be learning about their culture. So, yeah, I did that, and then I did a resume. I had to make a professional resume, and I turned that in, and then they said, um, okay, now we're going to show this to schools in China. So they started showing, showing them to China, and it took a while. Like, I was worried, like, maybe I'm not going to get it. But also, at the same time, I was like, okay, whatever. If I don't get this job, like, okay, I'm cool with it. Like, I'm not going to go to China. Okay. Um, I was like, both ways. Like, if I get it, okay, fine. If I don't, then I'm fine. I'll find a job here. So I... Um, I ended up turning it in and they eventually like after a month the, uh, a school called me in Shanghai and they offered me an offer which was an okay offer and I was about to take it but then right after they gave me a way way better offer in Yangzhou which where I am at now mm -hmm. and I'm super happy I came to Yangzhou I accepted the offer I signed the contract and I came here um, if you guys want to do it ju just follow that process go to the CAEC or go anywhere on Google just look for um, teaching jobs in China and like many different companies will come through but I recommend CAEC because I've been through it and I wouldn't recommend you guys something that I don't know so I recommend you guys to CAEC but yeah recommend you guys to come to China if you have the opportunity and the chance it's a beautiful country beautiful place beautiful people amazing schools and I'm having a blast and thank you guys for watching our video please like and also subscribe to our channel and share this video so that people could get more information of what it is like to teach in China and how it is like to get here. Thank you. Yes, like our video, comment, and next video, hopefully it's going to be, well, it is going to be, it's going to be us going on vacation to, we'll tell you later. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.